Hey Tractor Geeks. Well, today it's 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 kind of at the late part of the the planting season. Um, toward the middle late May right now, but I got a new toy, a new attachment for uh, my tractor. And so I wanted to just kind of dip my toe into trying out a little bit more of the bulk gardening, getting closer to this idea that I have of doing it like a micro farm. So I got some, uh, some beans and I have a friend who's helping me out. Actually, he's, um, be, he's be planting some corn and we kind of worked up uh, some ground down there a little bit. But this is what I got. I have a lot of ground that has never been, never been broken up, never been anything. So this is what I got today. Looky there. This here is a, uh, the uh, plow attachment for which fits my uh, uh, 20 John Deere 2032R. And so we're going to see uh, how this works breaking up the ground. I've never, I've never tilled the ground ever. <laughs> I've never pulled anything like this behind a tractor. Um, so this is going to be a neat experience. Let's see what, what, what happens. Let's see how it goes.
Um, so I was told and I thought that the plow hooked up to the uh, quick hitch and I quickly learned, well maybe not so quickly, <laughs> I quickly learned that um, it doesn't, it doesn't work actually. So if you want to come here and look a little bit closer, uh, I think I showed you last time, um, the, there was a bushing here and a, and a um, little link here that I thought hooked on to the quick hitch, but because the, um, as you'll see probably in the picture, I took a, a picture of it, I'll, I'll do a little overlay there, but the uh, one side's higher than the other, and so after talking with the dealer, they said actually, in fact, the uh, quick hitch um, does not, uh, I'm sorry, the plow, this plow does not work with the quick hitch. So uh, they gave me one of these here. This is one of the uh, quick link. Um, so what I ended up doing was taking, like dismantling this, had to loosen the bolts, had to take this apart and actually hook the third point here. The two points down here worked fine. I was able to use these quick hitches down, or the quick links down here um, and get them connected. But I actually had to unbolt this whole thing, take it apart and slide it in, which was a, uh, a challenge to say the least. So anyways, uh, just in case you were wanting to know, when you buy these, um, these plows, when you buy, buy these plows, know that it does not work with the quick hitch. So I'm pretty much done with the plowing for this year. Um, here, let's go take a look. I did two sections this year. Uh, two pl I plowed up two areas. Um, this top field right here, I am, uh, it, it was great. The, the plow works wonderfully. As you saw in the video, uh, it was a little little dark in the, the, uh, the other evening. Um, that was actually down in the bottom field here, but the top field here, I uh, went through, it just, you know, tore right through the ground really well. Um, I already got some beans growing here. I'm doing a, a, a two-part experiment here. So, um, I haven't quite worked that area up yet, but as far as uh, kind of smoothing it out. All right, here's the other section that I plowed. Um, you can see we got corn and corn and beans growing in here already. Um, we've got, oh, I think this is probably about a, uh, right at, right below 50 feet in length. And I did this other section here. So what I did here though, you'll notice there's a lot of uh, branches and debris over here. You can see the weeds up there and the little trees and stuff like that. There were like little sumac trees here and I just drove through it and plowed it. It was really late. I didn't get any video of it, but you could see that <laughs> it actually kind of works as a good little, uh, uh, you know, tr root ripper. <laughs> it rips the roots right out. Um, I just took it slow, didn't do it really quick, but it did some, some great work. So um, it opened up the ground. It's going to give me an opportunity to work this now for some other projects I have in mind. So I think that's probably most of the plowing that I will do for this uh, first part of the year. Do I like it? Absolutely. It was, it was, it's a great tool. It, it definitely digs right into the ground. Um, I have other parts of the property that I might uh, hook it back up to next time, but um, I'm definitely not taking it apart like I did before. Now that I've got that, that little quick link uh, bolt there. So I'm gonna go take it apart, get my box blade back on because my driveway is starting to get green again. for a moment but uh, this is how easy it's supposed to be you're supposed to be able to pull it off like that and you're good to go now I have this thing right here hold on I'm 
Hold on. This thing right here will keep it from uh, falling down on me. Probably should have done that first. Actually, um, let's do this. Let's do this. Lift it up. Daddy. Put this back together later. Um, I had to run in for some uh, kind of a, a geek related thing, a work related thing, but uh, I'll finish this later. We'll catch up the video with uh, putting on the quick hitch uh, another day. So we'll uh, get back at it. The other day I was trying to get the uh, plow off and uh, as you could see the it was quite a challenge to get it all undone, uh, but like I said that was because you know, I thought it went on the quick hinge and I didn't have a quick link bolt um, to work with and so I did get one and I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. You see the uh, iMatch, the John Deere iMatch quick hitch here. I'm ge getting ready to hook that back up to my three points there. Over here uh, you can see the uh, plow and you can see up here I got everything back together, kind of beat up the paint a little bit, get it all because it was really hard to get back together. Um, it was a little bit out of alignment, but you can see I've got this quick link bolt now. So I can um, I could slide this on and off really quickly. Um, I tell you what, it makes a big difference the uh, having the right tools, having the right connecting pieces. Uh, but just to be clear, um, this does not work on the quick hitch. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna connect the quick hitch uh, accessory here onto the back of the tractor here. All right, so that's the first time. I got it off the other day, but that was the first time I ever put it back on. Uh, I felt a little awkward, like I had two left hands or something like that, or two right hands. Uh, I don't want to be hand biased, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but anyways, I got it on. Uh, I have to readjust the uh, level a little bit because I had to change that for the, the plow, but uh, that's not too hard. Just got to do some the screwing of the little arm there. Um, turning of the arm right here see that in there right here so but anyways that brings uh, our video to an end just a geek with the tractor out here trying to figure out how to how to do things with the tractor so you guys have a good one see you see you on the next uh, project or adventure take care bye